Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Amy J again. Watch women react to the soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle, part one. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's Chow Time. Did y'all see the video that I posted about a young lady who moved in with her boyfriend of eight years after he bought a house without her? She's paying him rent and renovating his home for free. If you have not seen that video, go back and look at the comments and come back to this video so we can chat. Baby, the men are in my comments talking about drizzle, drizzle. So you know how Shira 7 says sprinkle, sprinkle, ha, ha, ha. They are saying drizzle, drizzle. Now we are. They're not going to war anymore. Nope. They're not using hammers. They're not building homes. They're not hunting or gathering. They are on TikTok and comment sections saying drizzle, drizzle under my video. And you women are not taking care of their children. They're not cleaning their house. They're not taking care of their husbands and boyfriends. And on the internet, making videos just like this with sprinkle, sprinkle. And drizzle, drizzle under a hoochie daddy short outfit that says soft life on the back of it. She is triggered. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, the males have started saying drizzle, drizzle, like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are are so feminine. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. I thought they were talking about Drake. It doesn't stick as good as sprinkle, sprinkle, though. It sound like they're actually drooling. <laughs> okay. You know, someone commented about her lips in the last video about this. And yeah, you're right. Her lips are a little weird. Aren't they? Sound like you're drooling. <laughs> sound like your water be about to get cut off. Anyway. <laughs> sound like your water pressure low. You live in a bad area. So yeah, guys, the queen of sprinkle sprinkle herself, is it Sarah Seven, has responded to Drizzy Drizzle. That goes to show you that the men are calling the men have gotten at their attention because for their queen to come out and respond, that, that shows a lot. She's not happy. She's not happy with the men. Men, you've been summoned by the sprinkle sprinkle queen herself. <laughs> you've got to stop mocking how her minimum. My boyfriend broke up with me because I forgot to send him his daily allowance for a soft guy era of $5,000. I only sent him $2,000 and he told me that it was giving she should know better. He deserves so much more. <laughs> Last week, I got him a new Lexus and he told me that kings don't drive Lexuses, that he was expecting a Mercedes Benz S Class. Exactly. It wasn't good enough because he knows his worth. And of course, I don't love him enough if I don't understand that. Last That's night, what we've been I tried saying. to plan a date to Bonefish Grill, but he told me only Capital Grill, so he made me pay for an Uber to take him home because he absolutely refused to be there with me. He told me he only deserves the best because his mom <laughs> always gave him the best, and he deserves Prince treatment all of the time. I planned a trip to Hawaii, but he expected first class and a trip to Hong Kong and Bora Bora. And because I didn't come through, he told me that I wasn't good enough and that if I really loved him, I'd spend more money on him. The other reason he said he broke up with me is because I only sent him $100 for his maintenance when really it was $500. And he told me that I'm so broke because I can't afford his basic maintenance. Exactly. And that he's a king and he needs to be well maintained if, he, if I want to. I'm glad these women know they're being dusties and don't know how to treat men. I'm glad they are realizing it. Date him. The other reason he broke up with me is because after working 16 hours a day, I didn't have food cooked and on the table for him like a couple nights ago. Of course. And he told me if I wanted to, I would. And that I just didn't give a shit about him because I didn't have it ready. Obviously, I didn't love him bad enough. Damn that's right. That's my bad. I should have known better. You should have. Okay, bye. Oh, ladies, is it beginning to sink in now? Are you getting the drill? But just in case you're not getting it, ask the people in the comment to explain to you. But you just have to get it. Are you like, you know, are you getting the taste of the medicine yet? This is great. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that these dudes kicked off the soft guy era. 
I support the movement 100%. Just look at this. You see, men like to be pampered too, just like we do. The joy it brings me to see these beautiful women taking care of their men. And I especially love those little kisses in between. So sweet. So, so sweet. It is nice. I mean, these guys are living it. Well, and she plucks his eyebrows. Ladies, we have enough beauty products to last us 10 lifetimes. So I'm sure we can spare one tenth of what we have in order to spoil our men. These ladies are pulling out the big guns. Clinique, serums, Biore strips, under eye silicone patches, even the sheet masks. Beautiful. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all are saying I'm loving it. joke, but I actually believe in this kind of pampering. Wash his hair, scrub his beard, shave him, exfoliate him, groom him. Run him a bath with Epsom salts and rose petals. And while you're at it, bust out the candles. And when he's done, dry him off. Then oil him up and massage his body. And I love that so many of these Happy women ending, please. did not neglect the feet. You have to take care of the feet. Soak them. Scrape off the dead skin. Cut the toenails. And then rub the feet. I do admit my ex-wife was very good at that. She would take care of my toenails because I have ingrowns and it's hard to fuck with ingrowns. So, but she knew exactly how to take care of my toenails. So it was wonderful. So it, this type of treatment, all right, I maybe have had had similar things. <laughs> and don't forget to rub the thighs. You always have to rub a man's thighs. Give it your all, ladies, and show him that he's your man. Your king, show him that he's appreciated. Give him peace of mind and take care of his body. Oh, dude, the little head massage the thing feels era. so awesome sometimes. I'm here for it. And from what I'm seeing, a number of women are too. You see, this is the way things were meant to be. Not men running around pampering women. I'm sure a lot of women will perceive this as extreme, but it's not. It really is. I tell you guys this all the time. My mom used to pluck my dad's, you know, beard, used to pluck his um, underarms, used to do all these little meticulous things for my father. And it was, she loved doing it. She loved spending time with my dad. My dad would, it would be the family. Watching a Chinese romance movie, you know, kung fu movie, sword fighting. My dad be watching, I'd be watching, my mom be next to my dad plucking and doing things for him while we were all watching together. It was awesome. This is the bare minimum. And fellas, you deserve it. Mm. If she wanted to, she would. Mm. And if she doesn't, then she hates you. Mm. Go for the women that actually enjoy taking care of you. And don't accept anything less. Soft guy era up. Drizzle, drizzle. Bitches! You know the sprinkle, sprinkle woman, right? And she's like yeah. full on about getting the man with the goods and all that. I just, I do not follow her. I am not into that at all. But this new movement with the drizzle, drizzle from the men. Please, and ladies, I really hope you can take it with a sense of humor Please. because I'd say 90% right? of the content is the 5B movement and Drizzle Drizzle is meant to be ironic. It, like, it's so, come on. Like, I think we really need to learn to laugh a little bit more. We do. And even if some of these people, which I guarantee you some took it seriously, if that's what they want, you know, really, if you're in 4B or if you're just a normal person just living your life, how the hell is that going to affect you? It'll probably make your life easier. So run with it. Just support 5B, man. <laughs> I mean, legitimately. Drizzle, drizzle, my brother. <laughs> drizzle.
<laughs> Ooh, shout out to Amy. That was some damn good child. It was hilarious. You know, women are actually make trolling other women with their videos. It's so awesome. <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.